Good evening and welcome to Dalsan TV English News, Somalia's number one TV station for news and updates. I'm Ifrah and here are tonight's headlines. President Mohamed returns from state visit to Eritrea. Somali military intensifies operation against Al-Shabaab in Muduk. Djibouti concerned over Somalia-Ethiopia diplomatic relations. Somali disaster agency hosts Mogadishu University for cooperation. President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud has returned home today following his productive two-day official working visit to Eritrea. This visit saw President Mohamud engage in high-level talks with Eritrean President Isaias Afwerki where they discussed a range of critical issues affecting the region. The President of the Federal Government of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, has on Tuesday returned to the country following two days of an official working visit to Eritrea. During his visit, President Mahmoud engaged in high-level talks with his Eritrean counterpart, Isaias Afwerki, on a range of critical issues troubling the region. The two leaders majorly focused their discussions on strengthening bilateral and diplomatic relations between the two countries within the framework of a wider regional complementarity. However, further details of the meeting remain scant, with sources indicating that Eritrea might shortly issue a communique on the outcome of the talks in Asmara. Senior government officials from both sides, including Eritrea's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Usman Saleh, and the Ambassador of the Federal Republic of Somalia in Eritrea, were in attendance at the meeting. Meanwhile, the Somali National Army has intensified its military operation against the Al-Shabaab militant group. Specifically, the focus has been on Ad Town in the Muduk region, which was recently liberated from the insurgents. Somali military officials have reaffirmed their commitment to continue this offensive until the area is completely cleared of the terrorist organization. Our report has more on the story. Somali National Army has continued to intensify military operations and activities against Al-Shabaab militant group on the outskirts of, of Ad, a central town in Muduk region, Galmuduk state, which was recently liberated from the grip of the militant group. Military officials who spoke to the media said that they will continue to bolster offensives against terror group until they are cleared from the area. The heightened military activities target the rural areas of the town where Al-Shabaab has had large presence over the years. In the ongoing onslaught, the government forces have successfully dismantled and destroyed the militants' hideouts and pushed them to the periphery of the town. The Somali army recently removed the terror outfit from the town in ongoing efforts aimed at eradicating Al-Shabaab from the Horn of Africa. On Sunday, Somali government announced the killing of 26 Al-Shabaab militants, marking the highest number of insurgents killed since the beginning of the year. President Mahmoud has in June last year declared an all-out war against Al-Shabaab. In another development, Djibouti's Foreign Affairs Minister Mohamed Ali Yusuf expressed a great concern over the escalating diplomatic tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia. The strained relations centered around a port deal agreement have raised alarm bells with the minister emphasizing the need, to, the need for de-escalation and dialogue. Djibouti's Foreign Affairs Minister Mohamed Ali Yusuf great concern over the worsening diplomatic relations between Somalia and Ethiopia over the port deal agreement. In a statement released to the media on Monday, the minister said he is concerned about the strained and escalating tension between the two countries. The ministry affirmed that the government of Djibouti respects territorial integrity and sovereignty of all IGAD member states. The statement, the statement also added that Djibouti is closely following the situation and calls on all parties to embrace dialogue and work towards a peaceful and amicable resolution of the diplomatic role. Djibouti's statement cements growing and increasing concern over the heightening diplomatic tensions, tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia over the controversial port agreement reached in Addis Ababa on the start of the year by President Musa Bihi Abdi and Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. The port deal signed on the start of the year came hours after breakaway region and Somalia agreed to resume stalled talks in Djibouti. The high-level talks was spearheaded by President Ismail Omar Gele. Somalia, which considered Somaliland as part of its country, declared the deal null and void and unworkable. Finally, the Somali National Disaster Management Agency Deputy Commissioner Dr. Ahmed Adan welcomed a delegation of senior officials from Mogadishu University. The meeting aimed to foster cooperation in the field of disaster research with discussions focusing on strengthening collaboration between the two entities. 
Now the Somali National Disaster Management Agency Deputy Commissioner bring us to the end of tonight's bulletin. Stay tuned for more updates throughout the day. Somali National Disaster Management Agency SODMA Deputy Commissioner Dr. Ahmed Adhan on Monday received a delegation of senior officials from Mogadishu University at the agency's headquarters. The meeting in the nation capital Mogadishu discussed various issues pertinent to both sides including strengthening cooperation in the field of disaster research. The discussions also touched on uplifting and enhancing the skills and capacity of operators working on disaster risk reduction at SODMA. Ahmed thanked the delegation from the university for their visit and underscored their commitment by the agency to continue working closely with the institution of higher learning in a bid to bolster disaster coordination and management. On their part, the officials expressed gratitude to the National Disaster Agency, second in command for its cordial hospitality, and lauded the efforts by the agency in helping the Somali population ravaged by successive natural calamities. SODMA has in recent months been coordinating and heightening humanitarian relief assistance to the families affected by the El Nino induced floods. I'm Ifrah and thank you for watching Dalsan TV.